Move on to my culture, where for the past 30 days, the streets of Mombasa have remained deserted, with a majority of businesses remaining closed during the day, and a state of affairs attributed to the Islamic nature of the coastal town. However, as uh, the day gives away tonight, uh, of course, this is we are already done with the month of Ramadan, but just after the break of the first, a sleeping city awakens to booming business, uh, with traders uh, reporting uh, profits as losses. Our reporter Junaid Karisa paints a clear picture of the Ramadan culture in Mombasa as Muslims across the world conclude their 30 days of fast and usher in the Eid al-Fitr festival. What comes to mind when the word Ramadan is uttered? Prayer, fasting, giving, but most importantly, food. As Muslims worldwide observe their religious duties, traders, as well as the county administration in Mombasa, have taken advantage of the day's desired need and turned it into a money-minting booming business. Of course, the business has to take place when the light gives way to darkness, thus rebirthing the night culture of Ramadan in Mombasa County. The white and blue city, as presently known today, has prehistorically been referred to an Islamic city owing to its founding rich heritage, despite hosting diverse religious communities. Today marks the final day of the holy month, hence business transactions have multiplied, particularly for the past 10 days. It's half past five in the evening along the streets of Kibokoni Old Town Ward, a business hub for the coastal town. The mood is helter-skelter as locals rush against time to prepare iftar for their family. <laughs> Meet Hadi Jabalo, a street food vendor along the Makadara Road who is renowned for her snacks such as bajia, kaimati, viazikarai, katlesi, amongst many others. <laughs> Unlike last year, 2023 fasting season has seen her inflate her prices. Just like Hadija, many traders have taken advantage of the season to maximize on sales. Several minutes into six o'clock, Adhan, the call to prayer is heard. And it's go time to break the day's fast, a moment that is shared with those around. Slowly, the day gives way to night. Gradually, the deserted streets saturate with street vendors as locals and tourists flock to devour what is displayed on the carefully decorated stands as security remains tight. As the night climaxes, a melodious tune catches our ears. 27 years old Rajab Muhammad leads a band of seven peers in Kaswida and Nasheed Islamic praise songs, a service that they do without charge fee but depends on the goodwill of their fans for various tokens of appreciation. <laughs> Since their teenage years, the boys have been reciting the tunes while in madrasa. For the past 10 years, the lot have made it a culture to recite praise songs during Ramadan and Maulid seasons across the coastal streets. Drums are their main instruments of their work. However, a complete set of drums costs them a whooping 18,000 to 20,000 shillings. <laughs> Lakini kuna watu wanaita matari, tuari, yote ni moja, yanajulikana. Kwa bei yake hii moja, inatoka shilingi elfu nne. Na ukio shanunuwa ilo elfu nne moja, bado kuna, kuna kama hii kamba yake ambonde inafanya ilie. Kwa hivyo, hiyo pena uzwa kando. Nipata. Kwa hivyo na kukamilika kwa bando. As the season comes to an end, the fraternity's essential hope is that their prayers have been received and answered.
the KBC fraternity to all Muslims across the world, Eid Mubarak. From the Old Town in Mombasa County, I'm Juni Karisambele.